יריב מוזר, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. יריב, you are a successful documentarist. You have in your disposal, despite of your young age, already three fantastic documentaries. The first one about the Second Lebanese War. The second one about Noah and Mira Awad. Yes. And the third one, your latest, is about a, quite a tragic a phenomenon, if we may say so. And we would like, in your permission, to ask you to tell us a bit about The Invisible Man. Um, the Invisible Man is the story about uh, persecuted young uh, gay Palestinians who are um, unfortunately uh, running away from their families and uh, home society. And um, the only place that they can run to is uh, Tel Aviv. And uh, in Tel Aviv they are um, they're hiding because they are illegal. So this is their, um, their situation and I see them as victims of, this, uh, of the Israeli-Palestinian long-lasting conflict. So we were right by describing this, uh, describing this as a tragedy because it's indeed a tragedy. Yes, it is. Uh, Israel... Um, cannot give um, political asylum to gay Palestinians because of uh, security reasons and um, so therefore they need to seek asylum in a third country so and abandon their um, society their land uh, this place uh, the Middle East forever and it is no secret that your documentary the invisible man uh, is uh, making lots of buzz all over the cinematog- cinematographic world, if we can put it like this. You have been invited to many important festivals. And uh, when you go abroad and there is a screening of this very important documentary, And then you have a chance to have a discussion with the audience. What are your feelings? What are your thoughts about all of that? Um, first of all, I'm very excited to expose the film uh, uh, to the public. And it's always interesting and I'm always curious to know what people outside of Israel and outside of... Uh, The Middle East, what do they know? How do they perceive this conflict and uh, what they see in, in, in this uh, um, story? Are they ad- identifying with the characters? And which is always, till now, all the screenings that I had, I get um, enthusiastic response. I get a um, very positive response from the audience. People are really interested in, uh, in the subject matter and uh, are curious to know what's going on with the characters now and I'm trying to, you know, to tell them as much as I can. And correct me if I'm wrong, in one of the screenings you were joined by the heroes yes. of the documentary. Uh, This must have been very special. Yeah. Um, An LGBT organization... An LGBT organization uh, in a European country invited uh, the three of them, the which three characters. Name, which name we won't mention. I, I will try not to mention because uh, maybe it will uh, risk their, uh, their um, place of uh, where they stay now, which is uh, con- uh, confidential. Um, So they, they invited the three of them, the three characters, and we had um, this screening in front of refugees from all, gay refugees from all Arab countries, uh, from Sudan, in, in from Iran, in country. this European country, 
from Sudan, Iran, Gaza, uh, Jordan, Egypt. I met people from all around the Middle East, people that I could never meet in my life because these are all, uh, most of them are enemies of, uh, of Israel. So this was very, um, an emotional screening, you know. They all uh, saw the film for the first time together with the characters of the film. This was really a moving experience for all of us. Sounds like uh, catharsis. Um, it was um, a place where they could see and feel for the first time in their life someone in a, in a similar situation that is open enough and has the, the three characters of my film were brave to expose their, uh, their situation and their story. And um, this was really very powerful. First of all, it's very comforting to know that they are okay. Yes, they are. And if your uh, documentary helped in any way, I think uh, this is commendable. It's a wonderful feeling. I I'm trying to be humble and say that... Uh, Especially when you are humble. A, a documentary has the, the power to move something, of course. Um, but uh, I can't say that it did the, the whole thing. A lot of people helped, a lot of people were part of the process. This was a long process, very complicated. It's not only the documentary. Just a second. Yariv deserves a break. No, 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 I'm just... And we, are happy, the phone. Yeah. we are happy to allow it. Yariv, your previous documentaries, yeah. the one about the second Lebanon war, in which you participated yeah, as a I was, soldier. Uh, I was a soldier and officer in the Second Lebanon War. And then the documentary about this wonderful duo, Achino Noam Nini Noa and, and Mirawad. What can you tell us about these documentaries? What made you make them? The first was the first documentary I did was really a coincidence because I was used to, uh, as you're going with this camera, which 